Okay, so I'm checking for danger around the bed before I approach. Is there any? The area is safe. Okay. And is the patient responsive? The patient is responsive. Okay. So, hello, my name's uh, Robert Cartwright Speakman. I'm one of the junior doctors here. Um, can I just get your full name and date of birth, please, before we start? This is Rachel Williams, and she's a 65-year-old lady. Okay. So, she's responsive. So, is it airway patent? The airway is patent with no signs of airway compromise. Okay. So, I'm going to move on to B then, for, which is breathing. Oh, so... I'm looking at Rachel. Do I see any signs of respiratory distress? The patient is cyanosed, visibly short of breath, with nasal flaring and pursed lip breathing. They're sitting in the tripod position. There is an audible, continuous, coarse wheeze and productive cough, producing green sputum. Okay. And I closely inspect the chest. Do I see anything on the chest? There is a barrel chest noted, and there's no scars visible. Okay. I um, want to assess for tra tracheal deviation. Uh, that's normal. Okay. And if I percuss the chest? The chest is resonant. Okay. I want to test for chest expansion as well. The chest expansion is normal. Okay. And finally, I would like to auscultate the chest. There is coarse crackles heard within the left lower zone with a continuous wheeze throughout the chest. Okay. And what is her respiratory rate? Her respiratory rate is 27. Okay. And what are her oxygen saturations? Her oxygen saturations are 85% on room air. Okay. So at this point, I would like to start uh, 15 litres of oxygen on a non rebreathed mask. So I'll put that on there. I'll just plug it in. Okay. And does that make any difference? Her oxygen saturations improved to 95% and her respiratory rate goes down to 19. Now what I would like to do um, is get an arterial blood gas. I would also like to send the sputum off for microscopy, cultures and sensitivities. And I would also like to order a portable chest x-ray. I'd also like to start some um, salbutamol nebs as well as iprotropium nebs. And I'd also like to start some prednisolone. The arterial blood gas comes back with the oxygen level of 16.1 a CO2 level of 6.5 and a pH of 7.32. Okay, so I may consider switching to a Venturi mask once this patient is stabilised because it seems like she might be a retainer. Okay, so that's breathing done. I would like to now move on to uh, circulation. So I'm again looking at the patient. Does she have any signs of cardiac compromise? There are no signs of cardiac compromise. Okay, and I would like to palpate for the apex beat. That's normal. Okay. And I would like to listen to the heart sounds as well. The heart sounds one and two are present with no added sounds. Okay. I'd also like to uh, assess cap refill time. That's normal. Okay. And is there any signs of peripheral edema? No. Okay. At this, t at this point in time, I'd like to get a heart rate and a blood pressure. Her heart rate is 103 and her blood pressure is 110 over 75. Okay, so what I would like to do at this point is get IV access, so I would insert a one large bore cannula. I'd also like to take some bloods. I'd like to take a blood cultures first, then a full blood count, ureas and urea and electrolytes, uh, C-reactive protein, order an ECG, and as well I'd like to prescribe some antibiotics uh, in concordance with local policy. The ECG shows sinus tachycardia. Okay. So I'd like to move on from C now and go towards D, which is disability, okay? Um, I'd like to see how alert she is. Is she alert? Yeah. Okay. I would like to uh, assess her pupils. I'm going to shine the pen torch in her eyes. The pupils are equal and reactive to light. Okay. At this point in time, I'd also like to get a temperature. The temperature is 39.1 degrees Celsius. Okay, and I'd also like to get a blood glucose reading. The blood glucose is 6.6. .6. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to E, exposure. So I'm going to fully expose the patient to look for any injuries. Are there any? There are no further findings on examination. Okay, I'd like to do a full abdominal examination and check the calves. Are they normal? They're normal. Okay, so at this point, I'd like to continue to reassess the patient and I'd also like to involve one of my seniors in this case. Thank you. Hello, my name's Robert Cartwright Speakman, one of the doctors down in A&E. Can I check who I'm speaking to, please? Yeah, the med red, the med red, okay, great. 
So I've got a patient here, I'm quite worried about her. I'm thinking that she's got an infective exacerbation of COPD. Her name's Rachel Williams, she's 65. Her hospital number is 659803, and she's in bed 12. She's presented today with acute shortness of breath, a productive cough and wheeze, and she's got a background history of COPD. So I've examined her, and her airway is patent. She's visibly short of breath and cyanosed. She's got wheeze throughout all lung fields when I listened and crackles in the left lower zone. On admission, she was tachypneic and hypoxic with a respiratory rate of 27 and oxygen sats of 85% on room air. And since then, I've given her 15 litres of oxygen through a non rebreathe mask and the sats have come up. I've taken an ABG, the pH of which was 7.32, PO2 was 16.1, PCO2 is 6.5 and the bicarbonate is 22. I've also sent off a sputum sample for microscopy, cultures and sensitivities, and I've ordered a chest x-ray as well. I've also prescribed salbutamol nebs, ipratropium nebs, and oral prednisolone. She's tachycardic and normotensive, with a heart rate of 103 and a blood pressure of 110 over 75. I've established IV access and started antibiotics, and I've also taken a full blood count, urea and electrolytes, C-reactive protein, and blood cultures. She's alert, but she's pyrexial as well, with a temperature of 39.1. Full exposure after this revealed no other abnormalities. I believe this woman is having an infective exacerbation of COPD, and this is due to the history of COPD that she's got. High temperature, productive cough and wheeze. She might also have an overlying pneumonia due to crackles in the left lower zone of the lung. I will continue monitoring on this patient and take a full history from her. Could you please come and see this patient as soon as you can? Okay, is there anything else that you'd like me to do before you come?